So what can you tell us about this party that's happening in episode 10? Uh, episode 10 is definitely my favorite, my favorite episode. There'll be hell to pay when I get home. <laughs> no, that was a lot of fun to shoot. It's definitely, uh, we, we saw it, I've seen it, and uh, I think for sure it's my favorite episode. And what is the what is the reason and what is the aftermath of this party? Um, the reason is because I think it's uh, there's a really kind of it's the first time we get all the characters together um, properly talking about what's happened and, and, uh, about the murder of Jason Blossom and stuff and it's, there's some really cool conversations that go down and like you can see the different the relationships and feelings that certain characters have for each other I come to surface during that time as well, which is mm. pretty cool. Speaking of relationships, we saw a teaser for next week's episode, mm. and there seems to be some red on red action. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. yeah. What can you tell us about this? Well, there's definitely some action there, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Because originally we all thought it was just going to be between Betty and Veronica, but uh -huh. now we're throwing... Oh, and you, and you just pretend that Cheryl Blossom ain't in the room. No. Good <laughs> I feel like you raised him well enough to know that she's crazy as that shit. Well, when you I raised it. him well enough to know that you worked your way through him one at a time. <laughs> you go from Brenda to Kelly. All the to, colors yeah. of the rainbow. Yeah. yeah, this is Riverdale. Yes. We what love happened it. to Valerie? Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, there, there's there's something. When you when you see the episode, you can see leading up to it that it's it's about it is kind of about something else as well, okay. other than just that. <laughs> right. Hey, what well, can you tell us about Molly Ringwald's arrival on the show? It was greeted with much fanfare. Uh, the internet was very happy. We were all very happy. I loved seeing Molly coming because just a really comfortable, you know, we fit together like that. Yeah, and it was it was just really great. You know, she's a total pro. She knew her job. She came in and killed it. But what is the dynamic like between the two characters? Love is uh, a difficult thing, you know? And when you've been through a separation with somebody and you're trying to, one of the parties wants to get back together and the other party may or may not be interested in it, that's a big gamble, that's a big risk, right? So that's where the best drama is born, right? Mm -hmm. Take the big risk, you get the big stuff. So you're going to do some of that. Does she get to meet Hermione? Yeah. <laughs> You think I would introduce the two of them? <laughs> but they know each other previously. Oh, sure. Right? Well, yeah. you know, that's the thing about Riverdale. Small town, we all know each other. We have a lot of history together. So they certainly have a past together. Yeah. Just like uh, her and Alice have a past. Me and Hal have a past. I have a past um, with the Blossoms as well. Um, but I, I, I think a very good chance that Hermione will intersect. <laughs> um, there's, in episode 10, the Grundy situation comes back up. You've known about it. You've been party to it. Where does Fred stand with it when it becomes public? Stands firmly behind Archie, mm -hmm. which is where his place is. Mm -hmm. you know, he's there to support his son, win, lose, draw, bad or good. I mean, the situation that happened with uh, Grundy, uh, you know, that's not a situation any parent looks forward to. You know, it's difficult. Um, but I think he handled it. Archie handled it as well as he could, um, and I explained to him why it wasn't a good idea. Why, and I, and I appreciated that about the scenes where he didn't just say no. He said, "Son, we should never get a fair shake here in this town again." And he takes the time to explain why it wouldn't work. And at the same time, I commended his taste in women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little <laughs> bit about the homecoming episode? Where's all these women? <laughs> Um, she's from homecoming episode. Which, which episode is that again? So when we go to the homecoming, <laughs> <laughs> when they have like a football could game. be a football game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the football game. Yeah. And there's a dance after. Remember, we have a dance, and I go, and, and, and you're there, and we're, 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 there, we're all dressed we're up. The same we're yeah, in we're, in, we're in the cool stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to remember <laughs> shooting that. We shoot so many episodes, so it gets. Yeah, we do, and we shoot one right after the other. That's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that was uh, that was cool. That was. Uh, I mean, at that stage, I think Archie is kind of still going through uh, the thing. There's a whole, at that stage, the whole love triangle thing is, starts to come back again. So that is definitely, uh, towards the end of the season, that is that plays up a lot. And it will keep playing on up until season two as well. 
the love triangle with Betty and Veronica. Mm-hmm. Okay. We, yeah, I know. We, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, because <laughs> Jughead, Reggie. Well, there's, I, cause there's, well, there's Cheryl's in there, and yeah. then, you know, like, like a and there's Grundy. I was going to say, then it starts to become a polygon. Right, then it right. becomes a decade then because, then, by then the end mo- of the season. Then you're moving to basic cable. Yeah. <laughs> then we're moving into basic trigonometry. <laughs> no, seriously, we're getting into Oh, yeah, there's a Skinamax version of this yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. Stick with us. Yeah. Stick with us. Uh, and, and what about your love triangle? How does that gear up towards the finale? Well, uh, my love triangle is, uh, it's an isosceles triangle, because mm. one of the girls is much taller than the other. <laughs> and so just, that's my knowledge of geometry a little bit. But hopefully, um, this triangle is going to take on a bit of a wheel effect, and it's going to roll over, and it's going to roll over, and it's going <laughs> to pop up again. That's what I'm hoping for, mm-hmm. kind of a lumpy triangular wheel. <laughs> and how is it working with him now, now that he's gotten almost a full season under his belt? How's, okay? how's this kid grown? Well, he's got the Fred starter beard going, you know, I'm starting him out <laughs> on trying that. To, so uh, trying to, trying to. Uh, last year, I kind of let him have the cool hair. Mm-hmm. You know, and this year I'm gonna challenge that a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna cut my hair. I'm gonna start bringing the hair back. Um, what's left of it? Yeah, what's left? Of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh you know damn. I mean? This, okay. This is what I gotta put up right. with. This is the shit I gotta put up with. Um, but uh, we're we're gonna figure something. Out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys excited about season two then? Like going into season two? No, gonna, I'll go kicking and screaming. No, I am looking forward to it. I mean, yeah. it, it was fun for me to see these guys getting their first taste of all of it, you know, and sort of uh, just setting it up and seeing all the great work they're doing. And if that were to have gone away, as, as it oftentimes does, these things get, get canceled and they get shit canned left and right. But I'm real happy for these guys to, to get to have more of the experience, dig deeper into the work, play these characters better. Yeah. Um, where's Archie working this summer? Wherever I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta end it on that note. <laughs>